Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Hi. <laughs> These comments are savage. He gonna die. He gonna die a bum. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> great, great encouragement. <laughs> Uh, what's up, Lucas? What do you got? Um, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, son. Okay. Um, I was going to ask Martin because um, he made a lot of money going into finance and also having very specific knowledge about pharmacy, ph pharmaceuticals, right? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to know his opinion on how would he approach uh, financing if he had expertise in another area such as design or technology, what, like, what would he look for? What kind same, of opportunities? Same way. I mean, a dollar is a dollar. You know, when, when the way you have to think about finance, let me, let me get my wallet just to drive the point home. This is a stack of cash, also known as a rack, or a stack, where I come from. <laughs> Your job in, in finance, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, Take it's, one rack and make <laughs> four racks. That's your job, Lucas. It's, it's a small amount of cash, it's in my wallet. The stock market has, uh, is basically securities that are floating around and people are bidding and offering on them all the time. Right? This is a $20 security. And we know what this is worth because it says it right there and we understand it. The stock market's kind of like like a bunch of securities with obscured, you know, occasionally you get hints of what they're worth. And people are bidding $18. Now I'll sell that for $22. I'll buy that for $9. And what you're hoping for is someday someone is willing to sell you a $20 bill for $10. And then you buy it. And if you keep doing that, you're going to make a fortune. If you keep buying $20 bills for $30, which is people maybe who are buying Facebook right now, um, you're going to lose all your money. So you have to consistently find ways to get bargains. And sometimes you can get huge bargains. And sometimes you lose money because you thought it was a bargain and it's not. So it isn't about expertise on anything. It's just expertise on getting the bargain. Um, and yeah, there are some investors that are better at the, they understand the technical nature of something like a pharmaceutical or a soft piece of software more than they understand uh, actual cash flow and discounting. I think you have to understand all of it. That's why I spend my time learning medicinal chemistry and pharmacology and, and medicine because I'm an investor in, in, in pharmaceuticals, but I'm also an expert at the, the, the feat of investing itself. So you have to want to be an, an expert in both. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was just it. Thanks. Cool. And congrats to the videos. i um, learning a lot. Thanks. Just looks like he could be a criminal on CSI. Yep. <laughs> Agron, you need to see a physician. Potentially. Uh, Yo. Your parents. Hey, 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 Martin. I got, a, I got a quick question again. Okay. Um, so with pharmaceuticals, I actually have had uh, uh, three. Well, actually, four family members that have passed away from uh, uh, kind of. I, I well just. Be frank, ODs from uh, I guess cocktails of uh, pharmaceuticals. You know the oxys, the Adderall. Sorry to hear it's, that. it's yeah. No, no thanks. I wish I could change it, but I can't. You know there there are problems. But uh, and on top of that, there's probably been thirty to thirty five other people that I've known in a small little town here that uh, have have passed away in the last year. I mean, Jeez. is there anything from you know, the pharmaceutical companies that are on the radar to kind of help, you know, prevent this. I know it's off track of finance, and if this is something we'll put in the parking lot no, for uh, another conversation, that's fine, but there, there needs just kind of stop. <laughs> it sounds like there's an epidemic in your town. That's terrible. Oh, so up in Oregon, right? Uh, no, Indiana. Good old okay. uh, Notre Dame. It's, it's, a, it's a huge problem. It's uh, about once a week. It's getting, there's a couple, uh, you know, doctor shops in this area. I've considered starting, uh, actually just met with uh, an investor this past week about starting a company to help, you know, encourage doctors to give the, uh, the test, you know, once every 30 days if you're subscribing narcotics, but there's no kickback from them and, you know, so on and so forth, getting around the Sunshine Act and all that. So somebody needs to do something and 
I don't know, just kind of throw it around. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's tricky, you know. I'm not sure what pharmaceutical companies can do. Um, you know, a non-abusable, non-abusable opioid, a non, a non, uh, non-opioid pain drug would be ideal, obviously. Yeah. But uh, it's a problem. So you you can move on. I mean, that's I just just throwing that out there. So I'm sure there are other pressing questions, you know, for this forum. Hello, Martin. Hi. I got a question for you. Um, are you interested in writing a book? Um, yeah, I'd be interested in being like a proofreader or something like that. I really like your lessons. I think they're great. They're absolutely invaluable, but I mean, they, you know, there's so much information spread in so many different mediums. It's kind of hard to follow. You know, like a sequential, you know, like format. Um, do you have any intention or any plans or anything? Are you just gonna? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. All right. Well, just sorry to ask. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Alden, let me know where I can buy your mixtape. Ditto. Something's wrong with this software. Hang on. I don't think it's on your end. Yeah. So, Martin, you are the man. Holy shit. Do you know how much, how much I was racking my fucking brain for days trying to figure out what Seeking Alpha meant? <laughs> that website is like, what the fuck does Seeking Alpha mean? Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Exactly. <laughs> knowing might be all the battle, Mike. <sighs> Only JoJo can save this chat. Is that one of JoJo's aliases Definitely. right there? Realist dealist? I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Get a very important question. Um, Red Man or Method Man? Oh, man. Meth. Love Method Man. Nirvana or Wu Tang? Huh? Nirvana or Wu Tang? Nirvana, for sure. Yeah, it says a Nirvana type of day, that's for sure. Easy. Uh, 